So now that I have dinner in the refrigerator, marinating, I decided to film more videos. I have been on a filming ball this week. Like, it's been serious. But anyway, so I know you guys have been like expecting this video. You couldn't wait to hear my second thoughts or opinions on this company. And you guys, some of you guys may be like, Kayla, what are you talking about? But I'll link the last video down below. It is on the Lip Monthly subscription. Now, this company is supposed to be solely based upon lip products. And they always throw an extra, like, random product. Could be face, eyes, whatever, in the bag. <clears throat> now, last month I had several problems with just the overall quality of the products that they were giving us even though you are paying ten dollars I mean at least you can give us something to look forward to other than a Mary Kay Nashley lip gloss now we know those have probably been discontinued for years now but anywho I have this month's box bo bag and it is for the month of August obviously so um I do have one thing that really ticked me off. So I reached out to customer service about um, when they would be sending my bag because if you guys use my referral code then I would get another bag because I wasn't going to buy another bag because I wasn't really sold last month. I mean I was thinking about it but then again you know and then somebody happened to use my subscription um, <clears throat> link below which thank you guys because if not then you wouldn't have had a second review on this and you guys have requested that I do a second review but I wasn't too sure if I wanted to do it or not but anyway I reached out to the customer service and it took them days to get back to me I kept sending emails kept sending emails and like I said it took quite a while maybe a week or two before anybody even responded and then once I got a response I responded back it took another like two or three days to get a response so I think their customer service is well I'm not gonna say horrible because at least they did respond but I think they need to kind of work on their customer service and I clicked on their Instagram I seen under one of their pictures which they only have one picture that somebody said that their customer service wasn't the best so I guess it didn't only happen to me and excuse my TV in the background I just turned down the volume and went on ahead and filmed but yeah I think they need to really work on their customer service so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the bag that was basically my complaint my first complaint for this video is basically customer service but anyway here's the bag first of all they did a great job on the new packaging because if you guys watched my last video the last products came did they come in a bag I don't remember if they came in a bag or not. I remember that they came in like some cellophane, but I don't remember if it came in a bag. But I really like this bag. This is a bag that I would actually use. It's um, a little bit bigger than the Ipsy bags that you usually get. So um, we're just going to go ahead and dig in here. I guess first I'm going to show you guys this card. It says August 2014, Lips 101. <clears throat> and this is basically the little briefing card. So I guess we're just going to be random here. Um, the first thing is City Color Magic Lip Balm, which I like City Color Cosmetics. I have a few of their products that I'm trying to test out and review for you guys that I found at my local five below. Um, so it's a few products of theirs that I wanted to try out. And I've noticed that their prices are kind of high on their website, including JCAT Cosmetics. Okay, City Color, JCAT, and... Um, What's another one I was thinking about buying from LA Girl? Their prices are high. Like, I know you guys are probably getting mad money from, like, YouTubers doing reviews and shit. But, I mean, you don't have to jack the prices up that high. But, anyway, this is the Magic Bomb. And I watched my girl, um, All Things Naomi, do a review or her overall, um, basically, first impressions of this bag. Yes? It's important. What is it? baby tick on my thigh but anyway um so she talked about these products or this month's bag so I kind of know what you know to expect so I guess I'm gonna do like a try on or whatever but like I said this is the magic lip balm so this changes colors don't know how this is gonna work that's why I said another thing was with the bag is that they don't really give you like a quiz to 
basically figure out what products work best for whom or whose skin tone or whatever whatever you guys get what I'm saying so anyway we're gonna try this on it's a lip balm and already I can see this turning my lips kind of pink and it smells really good I can't say that this is not something I can tell already that I'm going to be wearing alone because it looks obviously like I've maybe drinking some Kool-Aid. But I would honestly put this up under a lipstick because when I do wear lipsticks, I like to put on a lip balm. And this feels really, really nice. So, thumbs up for this product. <clears throat> but as you can see, it gives you like a slight tint to your lips and whatnot. So, I got like a pink kool-aid pink red looking lip going on here yep um the next thing is this pixie by Petra again like I explained in my last video with the um, Shea Moisture products being pronounced Kayla it, um, Petra it could be pronounced Petra but my sister's name is Petra and it's spelled exactly like this is on this box so I'm gonna call it Petra and it's just basically a shadow pen or a pencil that's supposed to um, last a fairly long time, I'm assuming. You can use this as a eyeshadow base to um, maybe help your eyeshadow stay depending on how good the product is. This looks like something fun to try and it's actually in a color that I will actually wear. Alright, um, the next thing is this lip gloss and it's by Jessie's Girl. I have honestly never tried anything from Jessie's Girl. I always, when I go to Rite Aid, even though there isn't one near me. This stuff smells really good. I don't remember what it smells like, but it's a, um, smells like cotton candy. Yes. It smells like cotton candy. Guess I'll try this on. This lip gloss is a, feels a little too thin for me. And it's, too glittery for me but that's what it looks like swatched on the back of my hand but I shall put some on okay it's not too bad but it does feel like it's kind of drying out my lips but it looks good on actually I thought it was gonna be like really clumpy but that's what it looks like so I like that but even though oh no I might keep it and I might give it to my sister this is what is this this is the city color lip balm this is also a lip balm as well um, and it's tinted and this is what it looks like it's kind of a pinch pinchy I always say that peachy orange looking color and let's see oh how it looks it smells like cherry um, cough drops by what's that brand lunges Luther the ones that taste like candy they don't even taste like they have a bit of menthol in them So this is supposed to be a lip balm. Yeah. This is what it look like. And this is in the color Ultra Pink. See these, this is why again I stress that they should probably consider putting in a um, testing system, base, I mean a quiz system asking what color are you? What colors do you prefer? You know, da, 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 da. but this is the lip balm, and this is what it looks like on my lips. Makes me look like one of those um, old timey racial billboards with really, really black kids eating watermelon. The Piccaninnies, is that what it's called? Is that what it's called? But that's what my lips look like right now. I guess I'm just missing watermelon, huh? The formula feels lip balmy because this color is not gonna stay because it as I'm <clears throat> massaging my lips together 
like that the color is like slipping and sliding everywhere so the next product is going to be the City Colors Be Matte Lipstick, and I actually like these. I got one from my boo, um, Tika Tenacious, in our last swap. If you guys remember that, I'll link it below, just in case you need to check it out. But this is in the color Phoebe, and it's like a rosy pink color. Again, with these pinks. It has a floral scent. I actually kinda sorta like this color. It's kind of deep. Kinda. It makes my lips look so big. But I like the color actually. It's what it looks like. And here's what it looks like on the tube. And these are extra, extra matte. So, might want to exfoliate if you have dry lips such as mine. And, yeah, that is all that I got in this month's Lip Monthly bag. So, this month was a lot better, to be honest. It really was. It was a lot better. A whole, 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 whole lot better. Um, my favorites out of the bunch were the magic lip balm I like this because it does feel really really good and it's not like um, a really thin feeling lip balm even though I don't like the way that the color appears and makes your lips look but for somebody a lighter complexion it would work for them but I like this because I would apply this actually underneath my lipstick um, so I will keep this close by and I also like the pixie lash shadow stick so I really like this. I'm a sucker for um, eyeshadow bases or anything of that nature. And of course I like this. I actually really do like this color. I feel like if I just um, line my lips with maybe a deeper color lip liner then I really could pull this color off. But I actually like this pink color. What do you guys think? So, yeah. That's all that I got in this month's lip liner. How many times do I always got to have like a mess up, an interruption? I've had like 60 different interruptions within this video. Great. That means a lot of editing. But anyway, I hope you guys found this video useful, helpful, or entertaining in any type of way. And don't forget to comment. <laughs> and don't forget to thumbs up, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see you guys and love ya. Bye.